As you know, ChatGPT has a lot of potential and a lot of different implementations. In this video, I would like to show you how to use ChatGPT for you hacking your hiring process. So we will go through a four-step process that will cover the job description, the follow-up questions, the analyzing of submissions, and the trial task, and what you can do with ChatGPT in order to help you. So let's dive right into it. So first of all, we'll go to uh, chat.openai.com. If you don't have an account yet, you can register for free. And um, I would highly recommend upgrading. I'm waiting for them to open the, um, uh, the Selenic again. So in here, uh, we have a simple kind of chatbot. I won't dive too deep what ChatGPT is, but you just need to treat it as a virtual assistant. So this is virtual assistant that you always dreamed about, but you never got. And uh, this thing can generate you a ton of different uh, solutions, content, whatever you're looking for. So first of all, let's try to explain the situation to ChatGPT so it will know what we're looking for. So I've made a simple explanation of what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for a perfect virtual assistant uh, for digital marketing agency business. And this person needs to be proactive, no WordPress, automations and digital marketing. So this is where you will explain what you are trying to achieve to ChatGPT. So the better you ask for, the better results you will get. So first of all, let's let's try with that. Let's see what it will come up with. So what ChatGPT did is created a set of rules and set of recommendations that we should follow in order to hire for that position. If you don't have your hiring SOP already, this is a great start. So first of all, like define your requirements, what you are work, want to do. Uh, so make a list of the tasks, etc., etc. Uh, so just go through your routine and see what you can delegate. Next is look for candidates with relevant experience, so people who have the skills that you are looking for. Assess their uh, communication skills, which is a crucial step in here. Ask for reference, test their skills. Consider, uh, consider cultural fit, so this is a huge thing. Uh, again, I cannot stress it enough, it's really, really important uh, aspect to see. And uh, last one is to define expectations and boundaries. This is a great process already, right? Now we need to put it in, into the work. So I will ask, um, can you create a perfect um, job descrip description for that uh, position? Let's see what it will do. So let's see what it came up with. So the job uh, title, job description, is great. Our face based digital marketing agencies, you can highly motivated and skilled virtual assistant. Responsibilities, so manage and update WordPress sites, including plugin updates, themes, customization, and content creation. As you can see, I did not specify any of this. So I just told uh, that, it, uh, that this person needs to know the WordPress, right? And uh, based on the information ChatGPT has, it analyzed what skills within the WordPress you need to have, right? And added it here. Next is the develop and implement marketing automation workflows. Um, I wouldn't use these tools, I would replace the tools with mine, but I can just do it in, in uh, later on when I will be uh, posting this uh, job description. Assist with social uh, media management, conduct keyword research, monitor analyze website uh, analytics, assist with email marketing, provide customer support, great, qualifications. Again, I'm not sure where it got the two, two plus years. I, I wouldn't include that to be honest, I'm fine with the, uh, with the fresh person as long as they have the dedication, but this is great. Um, insert contact email. So yeah, it's it's awesome. This is something that you can just post to, to your um, hiring tool. Uh, for me, for example, it would be like freelancer.com um, and use it. I would ask it to add maybe a list of applications. So um, can you please add a detailed uh, list of applications that the person needs to be familiar with. Okay, so it not only adds the apps that I would like the person to know, but also says why. So we can again post it to our job uh, description. And again, the, the longer the job description, the better, because uh, if person will actually read through it, you will know that they are dedicated enough, right? Because uh, the amount of junk submissions nowadays we are getting from uh, all of these tools is just insane. Yeah, it's great. So I, I would include that as well. It's, uh, it has a lot of the tools I would use. Some of the tools I would replace, right? So for example, I wouldn't mention Trello or Asana. I would replace it with ClickUp in our case. Um, yeah, everything else is fine. So. It, you just copy that and you just paste it into tools like Freelancer. Um, now, 
the next step in your hiring process would be actually to analyze the submissions. So I will pull up some of the job descriptions that I have and I will paste the real submissions I got to ChatGPT asking uh, ChatGPT to evaluate them, right? So I am telling ChatGPT that I just received a job application for that position and asking it to evaluate it based on the requirements that we created. And uh, here I just paste it and let's see what it will be able to do. So ChatGPT evaluated that and it says that based on the job requirements that we've created together with ChatGPT, the job application that I received uh, seems to be focused more on the WordPress optimization rather than their skills and experience in the digital marketing, marketing automation, social media management. While this great candidate has expertise in uh, WordPress, it's important to ensure that virtual assistant hired for that position has comprehensive understanding of all necessary applications. Therefore, it's recommended that you ask the candidate to provide more information about their experience. It's also important to note that the salary expectations and outsourcing services offered by candidate are not relevant to the job description. It's recommended to focus on evaluating the uh, candidate skills. Perfect. So as you can see, you just copy and paste it in here and chat GPT without actually you reading the, um, the application, which is bad, read applications. Uh, but without you reading them, chat GPT will be able to tell you if this person is any good, right? Uh, this is great. Um, let's uh, move forward. So uh, let's do what chat GPT offers us to do. Let's ask, um, can you create um, three follow up questions? to this app applicant uh, in order to evaluate them uh, further. I will not fix the, any mistakes because ChatGPT is smart enough, right? So um, he, these are the questions that it recommends asking to this candidate is that can you provide examples of your experience in digital marketing, specifically in areas like marketing automations, social media management and SEO. Uh, while your expertise in WordPress optimization is impressive. So as you can see, it writes as you would write. It's not just a recommendation. It's, uh, you can just copy and paste it. You don't have to customize it. Um, experience with other website platforms and content management systems. How do you stay up to date with the latest trends and best practice in digital marketing? I will steal this question. This is such an amazing question. I'm not asking my uh, candidates that question right now. And like, this is awesome. It just shows if person is dedicated to the niche or if they just trying to make money in here. Uh, awesome. Again, you just copy and paste it and you are looking for the replies. Now, let's say they replied to you. Let's say they gave you more information. The next step would be to evaluate them using the trial task. Again, as per uh, chat GPT recommendations right here, right? Uh, so let's ask chat GPT to create a perfect trial task for us for that position. So I told exactly what I want to do. So can you please create a perfect trial task for that position? I would like to evaluate proactiveness, troubleshooting skills and communication skills of that candidate. Let's see what it will come up with. Okay, so ChatGPT came up with a really tough task. To be honest, it's it's not there, there's no simple answer to that, but it's really cool. So our client is small e-commerce business uh, is experienced um, is experienced issues with their email marketing campaigns. They have reported that their uh, emails are not being delivered to their customers in boxes, and uh, they are concerned about the impact this is having on their sales. Uh, now the steps. So review the uh, email marketing campaign and the settings. Check um, client's email list to ensure it's up to date and free of invalid emails. So to reduce the balances. Uh, review the content of the emails campaigns to ensure they are not triggering spam filters. Test the campaign, uh, the email campaigns by sending test emails to a sample group of email addresses and troubleshoot any issues. Oh my God, this is an amazing task. This is a tough, tough task but it's really good. I'm not sure I would put the person up to that like as a trial task, uh, but it's really cool. Now the next is what they need to do is to uh, report outlining issues, recommendations for improving their email campaigns and uh, communication with client to inform them 
that the issue has been identified. Evaluation criteria is uh, what I've mentioned basically. So proactiveness, attention to detail, communication skills, and ability to work independently. Again, a great, great skill for virtual assistant. So overall, what we went through is the exact process that I would use right now to hire a virtual assistant. As you can see, it will do everything for you. Job description, follow-up questions, the trial task, analyzing the submissions, everything that you would ask your VA to do, ChatGPT can do for you right now. The even better way would be to hire a virtual assistant based on that process and then uh, give this process to your virtual assistant for future hiring. So your virtual assistant will be able to use ChatGPT with these prompts or customized prompts and will be do the hiring for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would use ChatGPT for and who you would try to hire using this process. I'm really curious to see. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe so other people will also be able to find this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.